well, I'm here with Ruth. Hi. And we are going to be talking through just a bit about where Ruth's at with Hope. And yeah, it's kind of bittersweet because it's, it's, you know, Ruth's leaving Hope, but also for really, really good reasons. So I'd love to hear a bit about how long you're at Hope for, what you felt hope was for you and what, what your season of life is now sure um so i moved to bristol for work about six and a bit years ago oh, wow. um mm. and moved in with a family um and there were two lodgers there one who also came to hope um oh. and invited me along and i think from the get-go it really felt like a family mm. church and somewhere where i could could be myself. Um, mm. I love the kind of worshipping heart of mm. hope, um, and and that kind of realism that mm. there was there. It didn't feel that you had to kind of put up any masks or kind of yeah. pretend that yeah. things were great when they weren't. I think when I mm. started, I was um, maybe not in in a great place mm. in terms of life stuff that life had thrown at me, mm. and yeah. Um, yeah, I think there was just a really great group of people um, who kind of gathered around and we'd meet weekly and share food and um, and share testimonies mm-hmm. and just kind of do life together and um, I think that was just mm-hmm. a really great part of kind of restoring some of my, not, not that I'd lost my faith, but kind of restoring mm-hmm. that kind of trust yeah. in, in the goodness of God and um, yeah. Yeah, that's really lovely. Thanks for sharing that, Ruth. Mm. It's lovely to hear. And in the last period of time, you've met someone, I haven't have. you? Do you want to? <laughs> yeah. Do you want to talk a bit about that? Yeah. Sure. Um, so yeah, the family I lodged with, the lady, um, eventually persuaded me to go on online dating. Brilliant. <laughs> Gotta love it. Um, and I did, and I met the lovely Will. Oh, that's um, fantastic. Yeah. So it's been a good couple of years now we've kind of um, been getting to know each other and then um must have been two last year um he set up a surprise triathlon (laughs) (laughs) if anyone doesn't know Ruth this is classic absolutely classic have a race have a race (laughs) brilliant and uh yeah halfway through the run at the end uh, he got down on one knee and uh yeah, we uh, got married in May. Yes, we did. Of, yeah. Was, uh, so hang on a minute, who won the triathlon? Well, I like to say I did. Yeah, that's just, I mean, you're here. <laughs> well, Your says he won here. because he, I said yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so, that's cute. Well, but well, I won the actual race. But you actually won the race. Yeah, that's great. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> brilliant. That's brilliant. Um, yeah. 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 So I had the real privilege in May of being part of Ruth and Will's wedding, and it was incredible because it was at that moment where it was like fifteen minutes, sorry, f- maximum fifteen people, um, in in invited two weddings because it was quite a strict bit of lockdown, and and then everyone apart from Ruth and Will had to wear masks, and it was social distancing, and I still was really touched by the love and power of God. It was a beautiful mm-hmm. day and, and God was really present and he's able to overcome all those things and reveal his love and heart and goodness to us. And I really felt that mm-hmm. on your day. It was yeah. a real privilege to be there. Yeah. And I know lots of people were able to watch as well on Zoom and be a part of it. And I had tasted and experienced some of that in our own home. So yeah, yeah. yeah it's a really beautiful it's story. And Will, during this time, was is has been going to another church. So what church? Yeah, is so Will um, Will's been quite heavily involved in a church called BNA, so mm-hmm. just off the Gloucester Road in mm-hmm. Bristol. Um, and so yeah, I through lockdown we were sort of yeah. virtually attending yeah. both, um, yeah. and we've decided to to stay at BNA mm-hmm. and to kind of land there and um, plug into a new community partly location wise yeah. um i think we're surrounded by boxes in the first of the moving house <laughs> yeah um and i think just um yeah i think it's just 
one thing I love about Bristol is how mm. the churches all really yeah. work together. Yeah. And it was great yeah. doing our marriage prep f- yeah. with you yeah. and Chris and with Wayne and Wendy and mm. um, getting that kind of wisdom from both. And I feel that, um, yeah, it'll be, I feel like I'm learning different things about God, seeing d- different yeah. things in that, um, in the way that, that they kind of do church and, and family mm. at DNA. Um, so yeah, excited to see yeah. where that leads and, and meet new people through that. And, um, yeah, yeah, it was really rich. We were, t- um, we really love Wayne and Wendy, and we've been able to have the privilege of spending time with them over the years. And and we had a really fun pizza out here. Wayne, Wendy, Ruth, well, kindly hosted, and Chris and I, and it was just really fun. So we really, in that way, couldn't be happier. They're a lovely, lovely group, and there's a great team, James and Nikki as well, and um, just feels feels pretty seamless, doesn't it? Feels yeah, very natural, yeah. and we tag teamed on wedding prep uh, online, didn't we? Yeah, it was online, was yeah. Great. So yeah, it's really lovely, you know. It's 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 never easy to change of season, but when you can mm. see it and feel it, it's good to, to yeah, go with yeah. it. Yeah, and I feel like kind of it's taken me on a journey from from being quite a, I think through the kind of free yeah a free yeah. course um, yeah. kind of from a or not a fully broken person, but someone who mm. has a lot of questions and mm. and things to to being a lot more sure in who I am mm. and and kind of I guess able to to mm. take those steps to to get married to um yeah to move on to mm. to new things and I think that's one thing I love about Hope where you talk about it being mm. a kind of a restoring place that builds yeah. people up, sends them out, equips mm. them. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean that's that is that's just really encouraging so, to I just me. want to say thanks to you guys. It's been yeah. an amazing time and I'm I'm very sad to leave it and I yeah. I'll um I'll still be in touch a bit through Absolutely. One Church One Day and, yes. and yeah. other things. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a village, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Exactly. I'm sure we'll be in touch. Ruth was amazing. <coughs> she poured out in so many ways, but particularly on kids for so many years. Our children were blessed by her on Truth Seekers. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was yeah, fun. Yeah, we, we, I had we, fun. <laughs> we enjoyed that. Um, so I want to bless Ruth and Will now we bless your marriage may you thrive may you flourish in every area of your life and I also want to bless Ruth and Will moving to B&A's or or under their under their covering we bless you with Wayne and Wendy James and Nikki may you flourish there may it be just a really beautiful powerful season in your life thanks yeah oh well it's it's just been so great to have this this season with you and we want all the best for you in the next. And we so it couldn't be a, a happier or better reason <laughs> to to bless you. Oh well, yeah, no, thanks for all you've done and, and dug into I hope it's it's great and look forward to seeing the ne- next seasons for, for you and what yeah. out lockdown means. Yes. And, yeah. 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 We're excited as well. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Ruth. Right.